Foo Fighters were making the In Your Honor record, I thought, well, this would be our opportunity to have guests on the record because we'd never really done that before. Being a lifelong Zeppelin fanatic, I thought, well, this could be a great opportunity to, you know, actually jam with John Paul Jones. And I talked to him on the phone, and you know, he's the great. He's the nicest guy in the world. He's a great dude. He's uh, he's an incredible player, and he's a genius musically. But he's also just a really nice guy who's very down to earth and mm -hmm. and um, just likes to play. I think he just honestly wants to play music. So he came in and played with us, and it was an honor to jam with him. But it, he also made us feel like we were friends. You know, mm -hmm. like he was a friend of the band right out of the gate. He was very cool. So then we um, jammed with him again at a uh, Grammys thing. We, they, uh, the Grammys kindly and finally <coughs> gave us a Grammy for just being around for an awful long time. <laughs> you know, Lifetime Achievement Awards. Uh -huh. What do you do after a Lifetime Achievement Award? Yeah, I guess you like to achieve. Over. What is yeah. left to achieve after yeah. a lifetime? You know? So that was great, and then we uh, we had Jimmy Page and John come up and jam with the Foo Fighters at Wembley. We we turned up at his show in, um, in Wembley, me and Page, and uh, did some Zeppelin stuff, mm -hmm. which cheered him up no end. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dave and I are always looking for something that's off kilter to try to do together. We both had toured our brains out in the last couple of years, and. So the idea of making something was the greatest idea, uh, and uh, but knowing that that's not always going to happen right away, but that you just make an attempt, and if it works, it works. So I thought of it like, well, let's start a band, but dude, let's we have to get someone really great, you know? How about John Paul Jones, and I mentioned it to Josh, and he's like, "Fuck, <laughs> you think he'll do it?" I'm like, "I don't know." So when I asked John, I didn't really know what he would say. And if he said no, it was perfectly fine. Yeah, you know, yeah. But I mean, fuck, might as well ask. But when he started suggesting that we do it with John, you know, uh, I didn't. I guess I never really fully believed that, that that would happen. Soon after that, I went over to London to present them an award at an award ceremony, and I think I just mentioned it to him then. Like, hey, man, I, I have this project. It could be really cool. This friend of mine, Josh from Queens of the Stone Age, who I played with a long time ago. Um, he and I want to do something, and I think I think you should get in on it. But I trusted Dave because you know Dave said he's a really good guy. I've worked with him before. I'm like, fine, you know. Well, I really like what he does. So if he's a, you know, if he's a really good guy too, fantastic. I'll just call me when you you know, or I'll call you. <laughs> and I did. I, I was thinking about it. I said, I'm not going to call him. He hasn't called. So then when he called back and said, "Well, when are you guys thinking about doing this?" I'm like, "Are you fucking kidding me? You're actually really." So I immediately called Josh and said, dude, John's in, I think he wants to do it. 